Check out our Fennec gear on EpicPants.com. You can pre-order the Fennec Standard Issue Gaming Mouse right now. The Fennec Stealth Desk Mats are currently in stock. If you buy Fennec products, we hope you like them and thank you for your support. Hi everyone, welcome back to Joanne Tech Lover. I'm Joanne and I'll be taking a look at MSI's new Z370 full lineup motherboards. This is a preview video of seven motherboards. Damn. First up is the Z370 Godlike Gaming Motherboard. It supports 8th gen Intel Core processors, Coffee Lake S, and Intel Pentium and Celeron processors for socket LGA 1151. This board and the Z370 line I'm going over are all Intel Optane memory ready, which means if you get an Intel Optane memory, it'll improve the performance of your frequently accessed programs and files. It's not really going to improve the speed of your M.2 drives, but if you have spinning disks, it'll boost the speed noticeably. You get the Intel Z370 chipset, Cabby Lake Refresh, with the 300 series motherboards. And this is an eATX board. The Godlike Gaming comes with the killer E2500 gigabit LAN controller. You also get Killer Extend, but what is it? It's a built-in network switch that provides Wi-Fi extender capabilities in your PC. Wow. This technology can be used to connect nearby wired and wireless devices, such as an Xbox, smartphone, or tablet to your home network via a strong network connection. Here's the Lightning USB 3.1 Gen 2 port. It comes with the latest Asmedia 3142 controller. I believe it's aptly named for its zingy speed of up to 10 gigabits per second. Included are four PCIe 3.0 x16 slots and they all have steel armor, nice. The armor protects against bending and EMI. You get DDR4 boost with steel armor and support up to 64 gigabytes. The dim slots are fully isolated and shielded for performance and overclocking. Ooh, this is a treat. Three turbo M.2 slots. They all come with swanky shields. The excitement is real. The shields help cool down the M.2 devices, which can get real hot. Plus, the armor provides a uniform look to the board. There's a U.2 port also with NVMe support up to 32 gigabits per second using PCIe Gen 3 x 4. Even this has steel armor. This motherboard feels like a knight in a full suit of armor. You get golden audio jacks with SPDIF, but the real draw is the 6.3 millimeter or quarter inch hi-fi audio jack. This is for premium headphones and devices. I don't see this feature on motherboards often at all. This board comes with 7.1 channel HD audio. With the Extreme Audio DAC, you get dedicated dual front and rear hi-fi audio processors. There's also a dedicated ESS amplifier. With these features, you'll be able to use high power headphones. Audio Boost 4 Pro and Nehemic 2 Plus are included for enhancing your audio. This is the Game Boost knob, how peculiar. It allows you to select a stage from zero default to 11 extreme for overclocking purposes. The processor's voltage and frequency will be auto adjusted after you power on your PC. This is useful, a front USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port for next gen PC cases. Included with the Z370 Godlike gaming board is the M.2 Expander Z. This is new to me. It's been a while since I've taken a look at the new stuff. The Expander Z is a PCIe riser card for M.2 slot expansion. Neato! It gives a PCIe 3x8 connection and allows mounting for two 110mm PCIe 3x4 M.2 drives. The last item I want to go over is the Rainbow Strip Connector. It supports the latest Mystic Light extension. You get a 450mm Fantex Rainbow Strip with a godlike motherboard. This board comes with customizable RGB LED on the heatsinks and PCB. Here are some notable mentions in regards to accessories that come with this board. What is this duper heaven? Well, it's the MSI USB expander. This is used to expand a single USB 2 connector to four connectors. Yaza! This is great for all them game controllers. There's also an MSI SLI HB Bridge L included. Lovely. Lastly, here's the Wi Fi antennas. Just thought they looked cool, so here they are. Next is the Z370 Gaming M5 motherboard. This is an ATX board. The M5 is similar to the godlike motherboard as far as quality, but not as far as features. You've only got one Ethernet port, no Wi-Fi on board, fewer Turbo M.2 slots, as well as shields, and no quarter-inch audio jack. There's still steel armor around the memory slots and two PCIe slots. And there's support for DDR4 boost. You can break this down easily. This motherboard is for someone who still wants the high quality VRM and heat sinks which allow for overclocking, who wants to use maybe a couple of GPUs, who wants performance similar to the more expensive options, but doesn't need the extra bells and whistles like on the godlike motherboard. 
Of course, it wouldn't be a kick-butt board without Lightning USB 3.1 Gen 2. There's less of the mystic light illumination going on, but some may prefer a stealthier look. The M5 uses the killer E2500 gigabit LAN controller, and you get 7.1 channel HD audio with Audio Boost 4 and the Hemic 2 Plus. Now we have the Z370 Gaming Pro Carbon AC motherboard. This is an ATX board. It's got DDR4 Boost, steel armor on two PCIe slots, as well as memory slots. And there's one Turbo M.2 shield included. It comes with 7.1 channel HD audio with Audio Boost 4 and isolated audio design with separated audio channels, as well as Nehemic 2 Plus. And there's a USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-C port on board. Mystic Light RGB is available with this board. It's got gigabit LAN, and it also comes with a Wi-Fi Bluetooth PCIe card and antennas, yay! Last item I want to show is this SLI HB Bridge M connector. Here's a look at the Z370 SLI Plus motherboard. It's another ATX board. Like the other motherboards, it's got USB 3.1 Gen 2. Yay for technology! It also has 7.1 HD audio with Audio Boost 4 and DDR4 Boost, but no steel armor around the memory slots. You get steel armor around two PCIe slots, and that's always a plus. There's Mystic Light LEDs on board, and you get a couple Turbo M.2 slots, but without the armor. Of course, the SLI Plus comes with Gigabit LAN. I'd like to add that this board comes with an SLI HB Bridge M connector. This is the Z370 PC Pro motherboard. It's an ATX board once again. The PC Pro comes with Intel Gigabit LAN and 7.1 HD audio with audio boost, but no Nehemic 2. And with its ALC887, it supports 7.1 audio through 3.5mm connector retasking. You get DDR4 boost, but no shield. There is a PCIe shield included, and that's cool. Mystic Light and Mystic Light Sync allows you to customize your PC with colors and effects. The PC Pro has RGB LEDs on the backside, which create an underglow effect. I see a couple Turbo M.2 connectors on board, but I am missing those shields. This board also comes with Lightning USB 3.1 Gen 2. So far, these motherboards have shown some impressive features, and I'd love to hoard them all. Well, this sounds familiar. This is the Z370 Tomahawk motherboard. I did a video on the X99A Tomahawk, if you're interested. The Z370 Tomahawk is an ATX board. Once more, we have Gigabit LAN, as well as 7.1 HD audio, with audio boost, but no Nehemic 2. Mystic Light is also an included feature. The Tomahawk has lighting similar to the SLI Plus. And of course, you get dual Turbo M.2 and Lightning USB 3.1 Gen 2. DDR4 Boost is a staple with the 300 series, it seems, and there's no shielding on these DIMMs. It's nice to see the PCIe Shield on board. I mainly use one graphics card per system, so it's fine by me. Last but not least is the Z370 Gaming Plus motherboard. This board stands out in the 300 series simply because it doesn't follow the same black and gray color scheme as the others I've seen. For those who prefer red and black, rejoice! Although I personally love the serious, cool look of the black and gray models, especially with that heavy-duty armor on board. The Gaming Plus is an ATX board. So far, all the boards come with Gigabit LAN and 7.1 HD audio. You get audio boost with this model as well, and no Nehemic 2. This unit only comes with one Turbo M.2 connector, and of course, it's equipped with DDR4 Boost. There's no dim shielding on this board either. It's always a pleasure to see a PCIe shield, and I love that every single board I went over in this video has at least one shield. However, this is the only motherboard in this video that does not have USB 3.1 Gen 2. The Gaming Plus comes with underglow LEDs. Let's see how these motherboards look all lit up. That wraps it up for this look at MSI's new Z370 full lineup motherboards. If you like what you saw and you want to see more like it, be sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons, as well as follow me on social media. Join Tech Lover Facebook, join Tech Lover again on Twitter, and join Tech Lover once more on Instagram. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.